Hi everybody, I'm Cliff and this is What in the. Today's video is about a security patrol officer who acted quickly and saved a gunshot victim who was bleeding out. The video that we're about to jump into is from the officer's own body-worn camera. According to the information I received, the patrol officer had completed his stop at a 7-Eleven convenience store in Santa Fe Springs, California and was just getting ready to leave when a bullet riddled SUV limped in on a flat tire. The man inside the SUV exited and loudly asked for somebody to call an ambulance. The patrol officer exited his car and approached the man and quickly realized he had been shot and was bleeding out through the severed veins of his right arm, along with a grazing gunshot wound on the left side of his head. The patrol officer then called 911 and began rendering aid and controlled the severe bleeding by applying direct pressure. The patrol officer tightly squeezed the victim's arm for over 10 minutes before the fire department arrived. While watching the video, imagine being in the officer's shoes. You're trying to keep somebody from dying. You're squeezing as hard as you can to control the bleeding, waiting for help to arrive. While you're waiting, your hands begin to tire, your arms start shaking. As you try to maintain pressure, and wondering if help's going to arrive in time. Luckily, the officer enlisted the help of the 7-Eleven clerk, telling him to grab gloves from his duty belt and put them on in case he gets too tired and needs the clerk to take over. Let's watch the video. What's your name? Giovanni. Giovanni? Okay. Do you know what time it is? Like 12 something. Okay. Am I getting tired? Yeah, no worries, man. How's my head? I think I shot in the head. I, I can't really tell. I'm in the front. I hear sirens. Don't, yeah, don't push on it, whatever you do. Is it? Okay, here comes help, man. You hear it? They're coming. Oh, shit, son. Just hang in there, all right, bud? They need to hurry and get here. <laughs> Flag them in. That's a headshot wound. It's not bleeding right now. I mean, it was. Gaze on. I, I can't tell. Did you have a confrontation with someone? I'll just drag you, sir. Okay. They're gonna help you, man. Just, just relax. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. No problem. How you doing? Here, can I get someone to take over for me? Yes, My hands are getting tired. He was, squirt, he was squirting right off his veins. Ready? Ah. Uh, What's going on, sir? He pulled up, asked for an ambulance. Okay. Right here to this location? Yeah. Okay. And he said he got shot at around, uh, well, he said he got shot at here, but I think it was going to be at Carmenita and uh, Rosecrans. Carmenita and Rosecrans? Yeah. I think that's where it all took place. Yeah. I mean, it looks like there's a bullet hole in the window. He might have a bullet wound in his head as well. Okay. Uh, do you know if uh, Winnipeg has been contacted by any chance? I believe they're en route. Okay. You can go and toss those. Oh, you did.
driving by? Or no, I, I work here. I patrol the 7-Eleven here. Okay. And I was just getting ready to leave okay. when he pulled up and asking for help. Okay, okay. So this is Giovanni. He's 25 years old. He's ran out times three. If the patrol officer had left just a few seconds earlier, or if the victim pulled in a few seconds later, they would have completely missed each other, and the victim's chances of survival would have been slim to none. The victim would have bled to death behind the wheel of his SUV. There is no way he would have survived.